one of our authors, in fact, uh, one of our advisors, was Prime Minister of Ireland. His name is John Bruton. And John Bruton thinks that uh, we have a very tough winter ahead. And by we, he means Europe. Why is Europe going to face a tough winter? Well, the obvious answer is rising energy prices, in particular rising gas prices. Um, households will pay more for energy. If there is a cold winter, they will have very high monthly bills. Industry, particularly in Germany and in Italy, is in trouble. There are many, many, many small factories struggling enormously because they bet their futures on Russian gas. And as uh, people jokingly say, Germany outsourced its um, security to America, its energy to Russia, and its manufacturing to China. Well, that's not entirely true, but what is true is that by being so reliant on Russian energy and now with the war on and Nord Stream um, pipeline not functioning and uh, gas terminals not ready, Germany faces a winter of discomfort, if not discontent. Already we are seeing uh, rumblings galore. In Italy, there's a new prime minister. She began as a far-right leader. There was a time when she admired Benito Mussolini. Uh, she is an interesting character, to say the least. And um, the former Goldman Sachs boy, golden boy, and uh, the head of the European Central Bank is out. This is because already Italians are going through a great degree of discomfort and although Italy is doing its best to become a gas hub for Europe by importing oil from Azerbaijan and Algeria and other parts of North Africa, I'm sure, that'll take time. So with Europe, there will be this massive problem of rising uh, energy costs, households and factories suffering. There's also inflation level, um, uh, levels reaching historic, level, uh, historic heights, at least in the post-war era. Germany has crossed the 10% mark. And the same is true for almost all of uh, Europe. The rise of interest rates now means that debt becomes more expensive. Italy is in danger of tipping over. Uh, Italy has very high debt, an aging uh, population, and um, a stagnant economy and almost no jobs. The situation in Greece, in Portugal, in Spain um, is not much better. So with um, such a scenario unraveling, with inflation, with interest rates and with debt, Europe will suddenly see a deepening of division between North and South. So far in Europe, Germany has been the engine that has uh, kept the train going. Germany has um, bankrolled poorer nations. Germany has bankrolled the bailout. And yes, of course, in the process, it has imposed uh, policies that may have been short-sighted and in the case of G Greece uh, might have been delusional. But so far, uh, the music has been playing. Uh, now, uh, the music may just stop playing. And so over this winter, it'll not just be individual discomfort, it'll not just be factories and businesses in trouble, it will also be a period wherein there will be tensions within Europe and the European project itself, particularly the, the Euro project, the one currency that Europe has created, will come under strain and European economies functioning within the constraints of that one currency, uh, wherein you have one monetary policy but different fiscal policies, they will come under strain. And so John Bruton is right. This is going to be a very tough winter for Europe and it will probably be a pivotal winter for the European project for the European Union. So make sure you fasten your seatbelts. Uh, we are hitting turbulence ahead. Join the conversation at Fair Observer and subscribe to our YouTube channel.